Hey guys, this is Anna here with Passions of Paper. I know I told you I was not going to be back for a little while, but um, after finish, I finished building my um, gothic grungy junk journal, I have decided I don't want to write in this. Um, I don't usually make journals this big. This is, actually let me measure, Um, ten and a half inches by eight inches with a two inch spine. Um, usually I go with the nine by six inch journal. Um, so it's got those smaller pages and, you know, chunky spine. Um, so this just has those really big pages and I'm just not feeling motivated to write in it. So I've decided to just go ahead and sell it and move on. Um... So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly go through this. This is a naked or blank junk journal. Um, it has not been decorated yet because I always decorate as I write, so I did not do any decorating to it. But um, I'll just go ahead and show you the cover. Lots of fabrics going on here. I did a lot of layering. I did like a midnight blue in the background as the base and then um, this coffee stained stuff on top. And I've got a removable tassel here on a bulldog clip. And it's nice and long, long enough for this very tall journal. Looks kind of like a lot like the last one I showed you guys. Pretty, pretty simple and pretty thin um, and soft. So this one has this picture on it. Very uh, post-apocalyptic looking. And it says, enter if you dare. This one I I did a little bit of a mystery theme because I was wanting like mystery goth. So you'll see some mystery elements inside. <clears throat> um, we've got the creepy cloth on here, the cheesecloth, black lace, um, flower sack I think. And then the blue cotton underneath that. And we have um, the... Uh, eyelash trim black eyelash trim all the way around here and then uh, this is um, just a piece of black cardstock with the inside torn out so this looks like a messy torn frame on top of the picture and then we've also got this antique um, crocheted doily I think and uh, it's like a piece of one and I coffee stained that and we've got some more of that coming out here and there's another piece of a different one coming out here and some more black lace up here so that's about it for that it should be a pretty quick video since it's not all decorated the inside here I did uh, these full-size pages and black fabric pockets and here you can see that dark um, midnight blue fabric inside there. And then same thing on the back. Right here. Here we've got um, some mystery goodies that I was going to use as I journaled and those will be included. We've got this fun vintage letter here and some suspect, a suspect profile, clues chart, and these have all been grunged up and made to look vintagey. Fingerprints chart. I was just going to use them as journaling cards. And then we've got just some more fun little pages here with lots of journaling space on the back. And then another kind of letter like type thing, which opens up. So lots of journaling space there. And then this file can also be journaled on here on the inside and the back. And now I'm going to give you guys some ASMR because this journal sounds amazing.
So real quickly here, this is going to be a mix of digitals that are on regular 8.5 by 11 paper folded in half. So you can see this is the size of my normal journals. And this is how, bi how much bigger this one is, all this extra space. These papers here um, are 11 by 17 inches. And then they've been torn all the way around and inked all the way around to be super grungy. This is um, a vintage page from a really old book or magazine. It was gifted to me, so I'm not sure what it's from, but it's in a foreign language, and it's a lot of fun. It feels really cool, so I had to add that. Plus, the picture's kind of cool looking. Um, and these papers are A4, so they're actually a little shorter than 8.5 by 11 and um, quite a bit longer. So they add a nice variety to the sizing. This here is a big old pocket. This is old um, printer paper, I think. It uh, turned out so deliciously grungy from the coffee dyeing. These um, can be untied from the bow if you want, and they'll, they've will they got quite a bit. Um, they hang down about this much, so you could easily add some beads or something to them if you want. Here's the other side of that big pocket. Goes all the way down. There are four signatures in here. Um, I actually did not count the pages yet, so. If you want to know how many pages are in there, I'll have that in the description box below. This is some handmade paper I bought off of Amazon. It's bigger than 8.5 by 11, so I like to use that in my bigger journals. More of that vintage paper. This is um, some vintage tape that I made.
This journal is great because of its large size. Um, it lays nice and flat, even in the middle of it. So it'll be really easy to use. And allow for a lot of decorating. Um, this is more of that handmade paper, just a different color. Here I included a folded up map. Um, I was going to paint it with black acrylics and do stuff like how I did in the last journal I made. and um, But since I'm not using it, obviously that didn't get done. Leaves a lot up to the imagination though with something, a page that's fun like that and can pull out so much. The other side of the map. This could easily just be turned into a pocket by gluing the sides there. This is probably my fastest junk journal flip through ever. I will be including um, a bunch of the Halloween slash gothic um, decorating goodies that I was planning on using in this. So um, whoever does buy this will be getting an envelope full of lots of fun stuff. Um, and this will be listed in my Etsy shop by the time you guys see this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.